Welcome back for another battle in Match of Madness. This is battle number 10. We have now made it into double digits. Very exciting. Today we are pitting two of the top options from two separate producers. This is Matcha Hikisui from Rishi Tea, and then we have Uji Matcha Taiko-san from Ocha. This is one of the premium matchas from Ocha, and it comes in a cardboard container. I just wanted to have both of them up on display here. Here's the more traditional little information sticker that you see on a bunch of the other Ocha offerings. Now that we know what we're tasting, let's uh, brew them up. Okay, we are back. Both of these matchas, when I poured the water on, there was no kind of caking up, right? They just kind of all dissolved immediately into the water, which is semi-rare, very much appreciated. Uh, when you see me kind of lift the tumbler up out of shot, I'm checking underneath the bottom to make sure it's all getting properly hydrated before I turn on the aerator. And in both cases, there was nothing stuck to the bottom. For whatever that's worth, I thought I'd mention it. The bubbles on the Hekitsui seem to be a little bit more fine. Taiko-san also is a bit more darker than the Hekitsui. Let's, uh, let's give them a smell. Fresh, sweet, young pea water. This light, sweet, a little bit of greenness, that chlorophyll-y essence. Very nice. Hekitsui, more stewed vegetable. Um, cooked zucchini, sweated spinach. All right. Time for the taste test. Cheers. Very bold flavors. No, no bitterness. Just a lot of umami bomb. Green umami bomb coming at ya. Wow. Pea, spinach, zucchini, asparagus, artichoke. Just all the green vegetables in just a super concentrated kind of brothy flavor. That's really good. I can't really detect any bitterness. If there's any bitterness, just the slightest wisp. That's exceptional. Like Yitsui, also very strong, but a bit more one note on the initial flavor. I'm trying to, like if you're wilting spinach and then just took off the, the kind of runoff water. Yeah, it's quite good. It's, um, I really like it. Also no bitterness on this one either. Well, maybe just a little bit on the aftertaste. Kind of the, a slight astringent, woody bitterness kind of mingled together on the aftertaste. Both very good, but definitely the Taiko-san going to win it for me today. With the uh, Hikitsui knocked out, that means our bracket looks a little something like this. And it also means that I can tell you a little bit more about the matcha Hekitsui from Rishi Tea. Now this is interesting because again, very little I can actually tell you about this, but what I find interesting is that this is the second most expensive offering from Rishi Tea, but their notes on it are remarkably short. Size, we get a 30 gram container priced in at $60, so that's $2 per gram coming from somewhere in Kyoto. That's all we know. Hekitsui, meaning emerald green in Japanese, is made with 100% hand-picked award-winning tencha from Kyoto, Japan. Hekitsui is a high-quality matcha with excellent umami and color. So about as vague as you can get for a very high-end offering. Very strange disconnect there. It is, it's a very uh, excellent matcha, but put it up against the Taiko-san, not going to make it into round two. With that said, I will see you tomorrow for another round one knockout. See you then.